Youth Runner here with Jay Sarah Standouts, uh, Sophie Pole on my left, Chloe Elbaz on my right. Uh, we had a little Woodbridge tune-up, uh, a little dress rehearsal uh, tonight uh, under the lights, a live simulation. Uh, always great to see these women on the, uh, the Jay Sarah track. The next time we'll see them under the lights will be at Great Park uh, in the uh, sweepstakes race uh, at Woodbridge where they were uh, the best California team last year and runner-up overall to Air Academy. Uh, Chloe, just the group out there, even though even your teammates that weren't running are out there with signs and running all over the track and cheering and whatnot, like just how good was it to feel that e energy again? Because we haven't had the blessing of seeing this team race as a group since track. Yeah, it was awesome just having all my teammates out there and friends cheering us all on um, and just starting all together, almost just like a rep in practice. So it just felt so comfortable to be on our own track all together. And I mean, we're even talking through part of that. So it just felt so like nice to just all be together and running together. Most definitely. Sophie, uh, you're 10.08, Chloe's uh, at, at 10.02. The whole group uh, is, is separated by 15 seconds, and obviously we're still not seeing the full you know, full lineup here, obviously. Uh, can't, you know, can't wait till all that unfolds, but just, you know, I, I know that Chase was, was telling you ladies, like, let's focus on somewhere in the low 520s at the mile, mission accomplished there, but just in terms of having the group staying so connected and so cohesive for so long, how reassuring is that? knowing that the next time you're going to have to do it, you're going to be surrounded by about 200 women. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely re really reassuring. We have a really great group of girls this year. Everyone's super hardworking. And I think just being able to practice together every day, and we do reps together all the time. So we're just really comfortable working with each other, and we know like how to work as a team. Most definitely. Sophie, obviously, uh, this group's prowess on the track spe uh, speaks for itself, but obviously, you know, the, the evolution over the course of, uh, of, of the years as we've see, we're seeing uh, uh, the, the, the strength as well. How would you kind of measure, especially because, you know, last year for you, Sophie, obviously, and, and Chloe as well, transition, you know, coming into this program for the first time? Like just, you know, obviously, I know, Sophie, I know you're traveling all over the place because you have academic pursuits as well as athletic pursuits, but just how much more fluid and smooth and rhythmic has it been, the fact that you've been been with this team for a whole year, we don't have to worry about you ladies sitting out, yeah. you get to attack right, you know, right from from the beginning at, at Woodbridge, like just what kind of peace of mind has that given you, Sophie? Yeah, I mean, it's just absolutely great. I mean, we got really close this summer at like our altitude camp and we just like, we're all just genuinely really close. So it makes running together and for each other a lot easier and just adds that like extra bit of motivation to stick together as a pack so we can accomplish our big goals. Most definitely. Chloe, what, uh, uh, what, what about for you? I mean, it shows in your energy out there, uh, but just can you, uh, can you share with, you know, with our community just like, I, you know, just what it what it does for you just to have this rhythm and have this routine and know that it's like, hey, I get to instead of having to be a, you know a great friend and teammate and and cheerleader at Woodbridge, like I actually get to go out there and compete. Yeah, I mean, like Sophie said, it's been awesome that we've been like in this program for over a year now. I mean, us, me and Sophie and the girls are super close, um, and it's just awesome that we all have the same aspirations, same goals to be that top team and. I mean, it's going to be so nice going to Woodbridge. Me and Sophie's first time being on the team for Woodbridge. My yes. first time went running Woodbridge, so Which is really unbelievable, exciting. considering how brilliant your career <laughs> yeah. is. How, how, how much does that mean to you? Um, running Woodbridge yeah. for the first time? I'm so excited, uh, especially because I'm like, I feel like I'm more of a track runner, and running Woodbridge, that flat course, just sounds, I'm so excited. I'm so stoked. Sophie, obviously both of you know what it meant to be an impact freshman at, you know, at a program. To be able to see Kaya Stradbeck you know, uh, uh, yeah, out here, you know, and I mean, obviously, much like it was like when Kayla K you know, came through and she, you know, when recent Hutton came through and whatnot. Now it's just, you know, it's, I mean, obviously Hutton was brilliant tonight, mm -hmm. but just, you know, to be able to see people stepping in, you know, benefiting from just how, how kind all of you are, how thoughtful all of you are, how supportive all of you are, and her just rising to the occasion in a live situation like this tonight. I, you know, how exciting is that not only for September, but going forward? No, I mean, it's so exciting. We have a really young and talented group of runners kind of like emerging, and they're so hardworking, and they really just put in the work. They are like excited to be at practice, and it's just incredible just to see their growth over the summer, and I think we're gonna have a great year. And adding on to that, I think it's awesome that the same experience I got as a sophomore coming to this program mm -hmm we can give back to those freshmen or even the sophomores that are um, growing so, uh, doing so well in this program that we can just give that back to them and like be those leaders for them. Yeah. Most definitely. Chloe, uh, like I said, you, uh, you, you looked uh, like a woman that has been in this program for a year and it's just confidence, belief, energy, you know, just body language and whatnot. Like obviously both of you have so much 
you know, love and respect and appreciation for Annie Iverson, but like, you know, but Chloe, like to be able to summon that extra gear in the, in the last lap and, you know, for Annie to go 10 flat and you to go 10 Oh two, like just like how, how exciting was that considering this was again, like the first live situation for you? Yeah. Like at that last 300, I saw her make the moon. I was like, I just know I have, she'll carry me into a good time. And it's just awesome that, I mean, we're, we're so close to Annie and knowing that she's right by her side. I feel like she's just like, it's not even like competition at that point it's just like another friend most definitely sophie last thing i've always identified you not only as a leader of, uh, of this group yo from the day that you joined you're going to be a future leader in america as, <laughs> as far as i'm concerned but one of the things that i'm so impressed with uh, is just your ability to balance like your academic prowess along with your athletic brilliance but obviously now it's not only doing it you know on a day-to-day -day basis in the classroom but obviously getting on planes you know mm -hmm. to uh, go and you know find out how you know so many you know, you know amazing historical prestigious institutions want you to be part of their future uh, as well can you kind of share just you know like what the what i mean obviously when you've got incredible parents amazing teammates a great you know great coaching staff you know but just like what that balance has been like uh, for you going through you know what is obviously one of the biggest decisions of your young life yeah no i mean i'm so grateful to be surrounded by such an awesome support staff i mean yeah as you said between like my coaches my parents my teammates i'm just so blessed to have them supporting me in this journey and um just helping me kind of find that balance because obviously when i'm traveling for a full day i can't really get in a workout but just having like coach chase work with me on that and then also like doing my homework as early as I can so I don't have to stress about that. It's definitely, there's a lot going on for this month, but I'm so grateful for all these opportunities. There's gonna be a lot going on at Great Park at Woodbridge and a lot of it's gonna center around these two women and her J. Sarah teammates. Again, Sophie Pole, Chloe Elbaz, uh, 1008 and 1002 uh, tonight in their dress rehearsal uh, on the J. Sarah track. Ladies, uh, stay healthy and best of luck in the Woodbridge sweeps. Thank you. Thank you.